Hi everyone, it's Jacob again and welcome back to the Blazit channel. Routing isn't just about moving between pages, it's a key part of performance. In this video I cover three advanced app router techniques in Next.js that can make your apps 40 to 60% faster and deliver smooth native-like navigation. I am very excited, so let's jump to the code. I have this very simple blog application. We can see some featured articles on a home page. We can view all of the articles on a blog page. We also have about us page and contact form. In this video, we'll be focusing on home page and the blog page. First technique that I would like to show you uh, are nested layouts. For example, we have this root layout and actually every single route in our application use this layout. But we can also create some route specific uh, layouts so for example, we have the blog page and when we go to the page DSX, we can see the, uh, the blog page uh, component, but also we can see some uh, specific wrapper for this uh, page. So we can actually remove it for now. We can hit save and it actually broke our application right now. But when we create a file called layout.tsx, uh, and I already prepared some layout for this page with the same styles and we can hit save. We actually can see that we added the same styles to this page, but also every single nested routes, for example, this dynamic uh, article page also use this layout. So for example, when we uh, add the text here, for example, block layout and we hit save, we can see it appears right here, but also when we open uh, article page, we can also see the block layout text here. And it's good because, for example, it doesn't re-render between uh, route changes. So this is still the same and we can move between block page and article page. And also when we go to the home page right now, this global layout also doesn't re-render. It's also still the same. Let's say that we would like to add a sidebar on a block page. We can do it with the second technique that I would like to show you today, which are parallel routes. First, uh, we have to add something called a slot uh, to our block layout. We can see the slot already exists for the children um, and it actually renders the page, but we would like to um, also add the slot for a sidebar. So we can update the block layout. And as you can see, uh, we render the children and in the second column, we render the sidebar. And secondly, we need to add this sidebar. So we have to create a folder called at sidebar with the same name as we have uh, created for the slot. Uh, hit enter. And as I mentioned, uh, we have the slot for children and this is a page. So we need to create the same for the sidebar. So we can create a page.tsx and I have already prepared it at the sidebar component so I can paste it here. And when I hit save, we actually uh, can see that we have the article page as well as a sidebar on the right side. And it's very powerful because each of these areas renders simultaneously. So there is no layout shifts. And also each of these areas uh, can have its own loading or error states. And the last technique that I would like to show you today are intercepting routes. So for example, let's say that we would like to add a feature that when user clicks on an article on a home page, it won't redirect him to the article page, but first it will display some model, some preview model. Uh, but we would like to keep the context of the home page as well as be able to uh, copy the link to this specific article when we have uh, this preview opened. Uh, in order to achieve it, uh, we will actually combine parallel routes with intercepting routes. So first we would need to add a model slot as we did for uh, sidebar and it's optional. Okay, so hit save. Uh, then we need to add the model folder uh, at model with the same name as we have created a, a slot for. Um, and then we would need to create um, a folder uh, called the same as uh, the route that we would like to intercept. So in this case, it's blog. And then uh, we also have a dynamic Slack folder. Okay. Um, and right now we also need to create a default.tsx. Um, uh, so in case if the slot doesn't match, we will just render nothing. Okay. 
Also, we can use some specific convention to tell Next.js on what level we would like to match segments. Uh, so we can use the prefix. In our case, it will be one dot in the brackets. So we tell Next.js that uh, we would like to match um, segments on the same level. So in this case, we would match this uh, route right here. So because we are on the root, so we would match this blog slug right here. And finally, we can create a, a modal component. So we can create page.tsx. I can paste this uh, component because I have already prepared it. Let's hit save. And right now, when I uh, click on the first article, you can see that modal appears. We are still on the home page, but the uh, URL has changed. And when we refresh the page, we are on the article page. So that's how we can combine uh, intercepting routes with parallel routes in order to achieve something like this. If you want to go beyond routing and unlock the full potential of Next.js performance, download our expert guide to Next.js performance optimization. It's packed with real-world techniques that you can use today. The link is in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.